The following is a presentation of the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports. Today, Tiger Town is Championship Town. The college football playoff national champion Clemson Tigers were honored here this morning with a championship parade honoring the school's second national title in the last three years. Now the attention shifts to Little John Coliseum, where Clemson plays another undefeated foe. Fourth-ranked Virginia, next. John Coliseum, fourth ranked Virginia is here, and the home opener for the Clemson Tigers. We're live at Little John, getting us up for a big day of ACC hoops. Virginia comes in, one of two remaining undefeated teams. The Michigan Wolverines are the other. Very pleasant. Good day, everybody. Bob Rathman, Mike Jeminski, great to have you with us. UVA Mike rolling. DeAndre Hunter does so many good things for this team. Such a crucial component to their success. Well, he's versatile at both ends of the floor, Bob. He's able to defend multiple positions, score inside. He can shoot outside. Great from the free throw line. He's led them in scoring seven times, including his last game out against BC, where he had 18 points. Now, for Clemson, Marquise Reed, he's going to be without his knee brace for the first time since he injured it earlier earlier this year, even with that, has been scoring at a high clip. He's going to have to shoot from the outside. Our innovative play is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Get slam dunk savings today. Visit Progressive.com. That good position keeps his body on people, seals off well, and after a few passes outside, they finally deliver to him for a great shot in the paint. He'll need to come up big today if Clemson has hopes of springing the upset. Fourth ranked and undefeated Virginia in Tiger Town to meet the Tigers. Lineups and tip right after this. Basketball is being brought to you by Food Lion, official supermarket of the ACC. By New York Life. With the right guidance, everyone can be good at life. By Coyote Tractor. And by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. ACC home opener for the Tigers. They're seven and one in Little John. So far this year, let's take a look at the starting lineups brought to you by Food Lion. And the familiar five, of course, for UVA. Guy, Jerome, Hunter, Dikite, and Salt. Clemson counters with Reed, Mitchell, Thomas, Scara, and Sims. And maybe Mike Jeminski getting Back to the friendly confines with Little John will help that Tiger shooting eye. Well, it, it's been a brutal start for them. I mean, they start at Cameron, and then they have to go and play against that zone at Syracuse. And uh, now, even coming home playing, uh, whether depending what poll you believe, number one or number four in the country, and one certainly the best defense in the country in Virginia. The Tigers get first crack at it here. Shelton Mitchell up top. From the corner, this one is short by Sims and the rebound to UVA. And just think of the defenses that Clemson has seen. They got the pressure of Duke, the Syracuse zone, the pack line today. Yeah, and, uh, so a lot of different looks and a lot of different things that you have to do in practice to try to prepare for this. But uh, nothing sexy really about what Virginia does defensively. They just stay in front, they guard you, they get contest, they make you miss, and they get rebounds. Shot clock is at five, Hunter. On the drive, kicks it back out, and at the buzzer, Guy, Guy has his shot rebounded by Scar. Tigers on the push, Sims. Scar, the head fake and drive. Uh, one, you got to finish against this defense. You get a layup like that, and Scar is, he has struggled in ACC play, Bob, and he has got to get himself back offensively, although uh, he's usually charged with guarding the best player on the other team's perimeter. Scar was just one of eight from the field in their loss at Syracuse on Wednesday. Looking to break the seal on the scoring. Kyle Guy can't connect. He's over two. Rebound for Diakite. Virginia 14-0 overall. 3-0 on the road. They've won 11 consecutive ACC road games. Salt kicks it back. And you want to know where championships are won. They're won on the road. And uh, that's why including the ACC tournament last year, 20 and 1 through ACC Amazing. play. In this day of age of college basketball, incredible success 
away from Charlottesville. Reed for three. I think it may take him a while. You know, he's going to have to take a hit, I think, to trust that knee. And uh, that's the last thing you have to, the hurdle you overcome, you take the brace off. Uh, you're still a little wary of it. Both clubs 0 for 3. Saul. He's going to be doing a lot of ball screening out on the perimeter. And Clemson not even paying attention to him right there. And Saul is going to have to take advantage of a few of those plays inside. He's not a big time scorer, but they can't switch when they have a double team on him or else they just stay with him. And a lot of beef in that matchup. Salt and Elijah Thomas. Ty Jerome. Looking for Guy coming off the back screen, leans in and connects. Kyle Guy had 10 at BC. He's averaging 15.4. That was a you know, kind of subpar game for him, but he does did so many other things. Eight rebounds and five assists in that game. And the rebound to Diakita. Lumpson shooting blanks early, 2-0 UVA. Very patient Virginia attack, of course. And I think what's different about this UVA team, perhaps, than some of the others that Tony's enjoyed great success with, Mike, is their offensive versatility. They can get it going offensively. Well, they got Kyle Guy with, and Ty Jerome and DeAndre Hunter are their main guys, and uh, other guys, you uh, keep uh, having a good game up at D.C. And how about that shot by Kyle Guy? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, he's, uh, he probably felt like he had a subpar game up at BC even though they won that and uh, he wanted to get off to a quick start and I think the, th the same thing for Reed. Uh, they were seeing some early success and this guy too, uh, Mitchell, Shelton Mitchell really needs to get going. A lot. Underneath Thomas, denied. Virginia the other way. Yeah, he's still pitching a shutout. Yeah, Dick, he take him from the other side. Salt had him pinned underneath. Nice bounce through the double team, Salt. That's going to be an offensive foul. And see, for Salt again, they're not even paying attention to him. Look, and then just a little too far out of a delivery for him. For him to take one dribble, come to a stop, and then go up for the basket is uh, a little too far out. So Jack picks up his first foul and he comes out of the contest as Braxton Key checks in. That's the, the flexibility though now they can switch over to DP taking to uh, guard Thomas even with Salt out of the game. Around the rim and out for Sims. Brunson now over six. about early in the game, but uh, every possession, Clemson has been in the half court. Both teams, nobody's getting a run out. And a rare turnover for the Cavs. Kite wasn't quite sure what to do. Got an over-the-top lob that Clemson took away. But Virginia gets it right back. And as the Tigers are now over for seven. And aside from that, that star missed layup, Clemson has not had an easy look at the, at the rim. Hunter in the paint. Oh, points are hard to come by early. I never, I never like new starts, Bob. I just, you know, shortens your prep through the game. You, you really have to get a great warm up in beforehand to get going. And now Clemson's on the board as Marquise Reed connects. 16 at Syracuse on Wednesday on five of 13 shooting. Averaging a team best 19.3 for two Virginia. Guy gets it up and in. Well, that's the thing that you have to really defend against Virginia. The off the ball screens on the weak side. Guys crawling around for jump shots. Seven two Cavs. Scar getting it back to Mitchell. Deep post.
Thomas tried to power it in, tipped to mid floor and Reed. Well, they decided uh, they didn't. Think, I think with Salt they could defend him one on one, but uh, with Thomas now, when Virginia doubles, they double big, and then they get into rotation. Scar for three, short. Hunter up high to grab. stops the first half for 13-26 to play. Virginia getting a bucket here from Kyle Guy leads it by five. Mike Jemetsky with our Carolina Ford dealers keys to the game. All one of us uh, for Virginia really concerned about Elijah Thomas and defending the post. And uh, again, not having a double team, but the Thomas 0 of 2 so far in the game. And uh, really for Clemson, match the physicality of Virginia. And, you know, they may not look big out there, but they're all very strong. And uh, a lot of that attributed to their strength and conditioning coach, Mike Curtis, who's been with Tony the whole time. They hired him away from uh, Michigan, actually. And uh, he, uh, you know, he gets them in shape, keeps them healthy for the most part. And, um, you know, they, they're just always banging on you all the time, you know, whether cutting or whatever. Maybe we should pay him a visit. You know, New Year's resolution. My visit would have to last a year. 7-2 <laughs> UBA. Clemson, 1 of 10. And Virginia doing a terrific job on the glass. Limiting the Tigers to one offensive rebound. Yeah, it's, uh, you know, you're going to tell you don't mind if you can get four or five offensive rebounds. Three. Again. Had the shot blocked. And we'll uh, take a, you know, we'll keep count of uh, how many, that's the first shot clock violation, but see how many there are over the course of the game. And that's what uh, Tony Bennett talks about. He talks of the one word phrase, outlast. We're going to outlast, we're going to defend them for 30 seconds, and we're going to attack them, and we're going to run our things and be patient for 30 seconds on the offensive end. Tony in his 10th year at UVA, 302 career wins. At the other end, Brad Brownell in his ninth season at Clemson. A sweet 16 trip last year for the Tigers. Yeah, a six-year extension over the summertime, too, so pretty good year for Coach Brownell. And well-deserved. Yep. Kyle Guy, no looks it inside. Tigers take it away. UVA knocks it out of bounds. Braxton Key that time, and... Uh, you know, he's a guy, he got, they got a waiver as a transfer from Alabama and uh, just really solid defense collapsing inside. Braxton Key, first two seasons at Alabama. Average 12 a game as a freshman. Clyde Trapp has it out front. Shot clock again in single digits. You can just see there's always a body in front of you. A little step back. And salt retrieve. You just, you, just, you, know, you look at that defense and you're out on the perimeter and there are no lanes. The help is so good from every angle. Kihei Clark in the game now for Virginia, number zero. Tigers, one of 11. Thomas not even guarding Salt out on the uh, perimeter. He takes it now on the block. Nice up and under. Uh, see, they need yeah, just not a lot of that, but some of it. You know, put a little pressure on Thomas to defend. Maybe get him into some foul trouble. Nine to two, Virginia. And a whistle. And a foul is called. We have a timeout. 11-23. Salt working inside for UVA. Player of the week is Kyle Guy from Virginia. He averaged 25 a game and wins over Marshall at ninth-ranked Florida State. Set a new school record with 11 straight three-point field goals between the two games. And today has hit a couple of tough shots. Yeah, nice little leaner. So he gets the separation from the defensive player there. And this is, again, what their offense is predicated on, those off-ball screens and the curl. But... Uh, such a quick release for him, Bob, and uh, 
you know, we talked about uh, Virginia didn't have the best of endings to their season last year, but they had guys who were hurt, with Hunter with the thumb and guy with the sprained ACL, and uh, but uh, he's, he's really improved. Catch and shoot from the corner, rims out, guy the rebound. Kyle is UVA's career leader in three-point field goal percentage now at 44%. Think about it, it's almost like shooting 66% from in the paint. And that type of a percentage is generally for centers, yep. right around the basket. Off the rim, Mitchell clears. Just a stifling defensive performance here by UVA. Well, and frankly, not a bad one by Clemson either. I mean, you know, nine points in ten minutes. So you can, you got to like that. But uh, I'm sure that uh, Brad Brownell thought his team would be performing better offensively, especially shooting the basketball here at home. Kyle Guy has seven of the nine points. And, it's, and, and Ty Drone, you won't see him miss many layups like he did on that last possession. Across the arm, hacked by Marquise Reed. It's the first foul on Clemson in the game. Hunter checks back in for Virginia. Now Guy will jog off and back in for the Tigers, Amir Sims. There's Dabo. He'll be joining us in the second half as the Clemson football team will be honored at halftime here today. 9-2 to two UVA. And a turnover off the hand of Clark. You know, looking at the uh, odds makers already, they've got Clemson favored in football to win it all again next year. And I think in 2020. Yeah. <laughs> all right. 9-2 to UVA. Well, I got a quarterback who's going to be around for that long, yes. so it's a good place to start. And he is here. Trevor Lawrence. Salt lobs it back out. Jerome to Salt. With the left hand, drops it in. Well, second time now. Again, there's basically Clemson leaving him alone. Um, you know, Thomas is just going with the shooter. And if he can start connecting on some more of those layups, they may have to change their strategy. Off the double, a deflection. Nice active hands, and that's one thing that Clemson has struggled with is turnovers this year. Clark with the leaping leaner, and it's rebounded by Thomas. Mitchell trying to get something in transition, takes it to the hole, and draws the foul. Well, that's one way to try to beat it. Well, that's one thing, Bob, that, you know, watching them up at the Syracuse game, you know, their last game out, I thought that Mitchell tried to do a little bit too much on his own off the dribble, especially trying to beat that zone up the floor, and that time it was a one-on-four one -on situation. He wasn't getting the calls in Syracuse. He gets that one. Shelton may just be allergic to the snow. <laughs> that uh, five-point Wednesday was a season low. The fewest points since he went scoreless at Syracuse on March the 3rd last season. A precious third point for the Tigers. The Akite in for Salt. First point since the 14.58 mark of the half. Second free throw from Mitchell. And 82% at the line, knocks them both in. He goes out, and John Newman comes in. Eleven four Virginia. Salt and Guy have all the Virginia points. Jerome inside. Another nice up and under beauty by Braxton Key. Yeah, and like you said, I think you know two years of uh, SEC play certainly prepared him to play in this league. His career high was 26 at Georgia. And he's really started to acclimate himself to the defensive end of the floor. It takes a while for you to get used to playing Tony Bennett's style. Again, post-double. Good ball movement by the Tigers, but unable to come up with that long shot. I mentioned that 26 for Key against Georgia. He did that to Mark Fox, who's in the building today. The former Georgia head coach, his son Parker's a walk-on for Brad Brownell. 
13-4 Virginia. Hunter denied at the rim and a foul on Clemson. First on Thomas. 7.56 to go, first half. Braxton Key makes it 13-4 Virginia. From Raycom Sports, also streaming live now on the ACC.com, our 37th year. Raycom Sports Broadcasting, ACC Games. Our coverage of ACC basketball today being broadcast on AFM, the American Forces Network. We welcome the men and women of the U.S. Army, Air Force, Navy, Coast Guard, and Marines stationed around the world. Proud to have you with us today from Clemson. And if there are any Tiger fans in the audience, stick around at halftime. The football team will be on. Yeah, I think everybody in the country found out about the guy with the long hair right in the middle there. Yes. Trevor Lawrence, we were talking about that. And uh, he might, <laughs> if he could, he'd probably be the number one pick in the NFL draft <laughs> this year. I was, uh, you know, I was asking about the lowest point total on a half for uh, Clemson this year. It was 22 against Syracuse their last game on Wednesday. And uh, they're going to have to step on it pretty hard to get to beat that in this half. Brad Brownell is going to put a ban on me for doing games here pretty soon. 15 to 4 after the Hunter free throws. Clemson is having a hard time getting a clean look. Everybody does against this team, and they're so, they stay so connected, and uh, that's one of the tenets of, of the defense is, is contesting shots. Another end the clock shot and for only, Clemson. And really only one guy on the offensive glass, and that's Thomas for Clemson. Other four guys getting back. Hunter. Virginia terrific, of course, in transition defense. Thomas keeps going, stumbles, yeah, when, pops loose. When your center takes 10 dribbles, you, you know, against this defense, it's going to be a turnover. And you keep a, a little shaking up on that play. Never got back kind of wincing right now. 15-4, over the top to Mitchell, and connects on the three from the wing. Boy, did Clemson need that. And boy, did Shelton Mitchell need that. Talk about a mental health basket that only had one field goal attempt. Uh, you know, boy, had no field goal attempts. And for him to knock that down, maybe that's the one that gets him going. The foul on Shelton Mitchell. And the reason why he got that shot, Bob, is a great cross-court pass. And um, that gave him enough of a look mm -hmm. to, to get a clean shot. Here's that cross-court pass. You see a little late, and it's, um, that, that's probably about as good a shot as you're going to get in the half court against this Virginia D. Fifteen seven. Kite with the shot clock winding down at six. Down to three. This one rims out for Jerome. Right, he's gonna, I'm gonna, gonna stay here. It's gonna be an offensive foul on Scar. Foul is called on the near Sims. I think they charge him to Sims. It's his first. I'll tell you, reset shot clock. On that possession, I was watching, and, and uh, Marquis Reed did a really nice doc, job on Ty Jerome, and those are, and those are ones the misses. You got you have to come up with those and not give Virginia a second look. Under six to play, first half. Virginia by eight. Guy with a quick turn and hits the three. Yeah, and he gets a good look. I think Salt is better probably suited in this game for off the ball screens rather than on the ball screens. And uh, he was able to get a good look on that shot as a result. Nice tough move by Sims. His first basket had nine at Syracuse Wednesday. 18 9, Virginia. You know, it's. it's as poorly as Clemson has shot the ball to have only a nine-point deficit, probably pretty fortunate. Oh, and Kyle Gott, he's 12. time to crank it big time. 
Timeout Clemson. Third three for Kyle. And we've got a stoppage at 5-13 on the opening half. Virginia takes it out to a 21-9 advantage. A step back from the wing. What a little James Harden look there on that play. There's, there's, yeah, there's the other look. There's that off the ball screen. And uh, Mitchell just uh, couldn't get out there in time. I, I guess the only difference between Kyle Guy and James Harden is Kyle doesn't dribble it 600 times before he shoots it. Doesn't have a beard either. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, their games are very similar. <laughs> Boy, what a shooter and what a year he is having. Over the last five games, he's shooting 58% from the field and 57% on threes. Well, it's always, you know, with him and Ty Jerome, all these guys, it's always constant motion. They're getting screens and they just, they run so much in the half court, it really wears you down. Sims on the bounce. Reed got Hunter up in the air and drew the foul. DeAndre yeah, Hunter's second. And Marquise Reed will move to the line. These clubs met in the ACC tournament last season. And uh, it was, of course, a Virginia win, but Reed really struggled. He was two for 14 from the field in that tournament game. Well, Tony, we split duties today. You, you talked to Coach Brownell, and I talked to Coach Bennett. And, uh, you know, Tony talked really about really focusing on Reed and trying to you know, always be aware of where he is on the floor at all times and not let him, you know, get going. Coming up on the Hardy's Halftime Report, we'll have live coverage of the ceremony here at Little John that honors Clemson's national championship football team. Going to have to change that sign coming off I-85 now. They've got to, you know, I drove by it today, and it still had only the 200 or 2016 national champion. They're going to have to add another number there. Air ball this time, and out it goes to Clemson. There are three other ACC games going on at this hour. NC State's leading Pitt. Louisville with a surprising 11-point lead at Chapel Hill. And Notre Dame's up three on BC. All in the first half. 21-11 here. Fourth ranked and unbeaten Virginia. Trap. And that pass was so high out of the double team that it allowed rotation guys to get back and get a hand up. But you, take, but you take on the other end defensively, you take Guy out of the equation, the rest of the team is 3 of 11. Exactly. It. And Salt's pass is picked off by Scarra. He barrels in behind the back, takes it up and gets fouled. Uh, boy, aside from Mitchell earlier in the half, it's one of the few opportunities that Clemson has had in the open floor, and it's an ill-advised pass, Scarra anticipates it well and he just sees he's going to put his head down and try to make something happen for his team and a wise choice david's first point didn't think they were going to have him for this year and uh, you know was going to go back to croatia and start playing professionally but changed his mind in the summer called brad brownell said he still have a scholarship available and he said absolutely come on back and drops in both free throws. Clemson, good job at the line. They are 6 of 6 at the strike. 21-13. Under 4 to play. Jerome. Clark. Scar aboard. You see that uh, on his left wrist that uh, Clark playing with that had surgery. So it's limited his shooting a little bit, but uh, he's done well ball handling and defending. Trap brings it out to Reed. Scar turns the corner and floats it in. Might have gotten away with a little bit of a hook on that one, but, uh, you know, again, crowd getting into it. And I think the alarm went off about a half an hour too late for Clemson, but they've clawed their way back into this game. 
And a three ball beauty by Braxton Key. From outside the arc, 31% this not, year. Not, you know, not, not bad for somebody for a 6 8 player. He does so many things for them. He's their best, one of their best rebounders. Shot clock never got started. There is going to be a timeout. They'll adjust the sh shot clock when we come back. Braxton Key makes it 24-15 Virginia. Tonight's a really special night for us because something cool is getting ready to happen for somebody in our program. Um, starting second semester, Lyles is going to be on scholarship. Hey! Love it. Lyles Davis. He has paid his dues and one of the great kids they come through the Clemson Tiger basketball program. Ryan, how about this? Well, you know, he's played in three games, hasn't scored, but I think the biggest score of his career so far, you know, being on the scout team, those guys put in so many hours. And, um, you know, so to see, I love scenes like that. I when, do. You know, Never when gets they, No, when they, you know, whether that's on a football team somewhere or a basketball team, when they surprise a guy with a, a scholarship, I mean, you just, you know, he'll, live, he'll have that moment forever. And when you see the reaction, Mike, of his teammates, yeah. it tells you how much they think of him yep. and how much, how crucial he's been to their success. Well, they, you know, those guys have to get out on the court a lot early before practice. They've got a, you know, one of the assistants who has the scout has them run the other team's offense so that the, uh, you know, the first and second team can work against it. So they, they put in as much time or more than uh, any starter. The clock issue has been taken care of. 2.58 now remaining in the half. And the shot clock at 22. Backcourt entry to Clyde Trapp. Here come the Tigers. They've hit three of their last four and trying to make some noise here and get back into this thing. Marquise Reed jump stops it. A foul on Virginia. Well, and they're mixing it up a little bit, but they've been attacking the basket a lot more in this last stretch when they've gotten into the game and really have kind of got him back at the free throw line. First foul on Kyle Guy. Coming up on Tuesday, 8 o'clock, you'll see either NC State at Wake or Virginia Tech at Virginia. Check your local listings for the game in your area on Raycom Sports. Marquise Reed has scored three of his five at the free throw line. A grad player from Landover, Maryland. Puts this one in. He's the best foul shooter of the league so far at 85%. And and frankly, I, I always thought when you're struggling offensively shooting the ball, either getting layups or getting the free throw line is the best way to get your rhythm and you feel a little bit better about taking that jump shot. Dikite plays it out to Clark. Clark will take the three and nail it. And looks like he's getting used to shooting with that cast. And that's not an easy thing to do. His 27% on threes coming in, 8 of 30. 10-point lead for the Cavs. He's, he's, one of, he's one of the shortest guys that Tony Bennett has ever recruited at a generous 5'8". But having him been a teammate of Muggsy Bogues kind of compares him to him defensively. Another deflection creates a turnover for the Cavs. Fourth Clemson turnover. Underneath, the pass is deflected by Clemson, and they come away with it. I'll tell you, Virginia's been uncharacteristically loose with the ball. They usually average eight and a half turnovers a game. Thomas. Three orders coming. Yeah, they're already at six at the half. Braxton Key's first foul. And Elijah Thomas, the 6'9", 245-pound senior forward, will head to the free throw line looking for his first points in this game. All-defensive ACC player last year. Ready at the stripe. Back irons the first one. 66% of this year. And he's had trouble, you know, had trouble even getting touches inside. He's had to go outside, put the ball on the floor. 
but only three field goal attempts for him to, in this half has not made any. At the line at Syracuse, he got there ten times, but missed five of them. Comes up empty, and it remains a ten-point spread. First two, Clemson misses at the foul line today. Clark backs up. Guy, Dikite, eight, seven, six to shoot. Kyle, pump fakes, in and out. Thomas sidesteps, lays it home. Wow, that was some move. <laughs> Getting around the defender and just one dribble. Well, tell you, just uh, a good defensive stand here and a score down the other end and uh, give them the Tigers some momentum. Short and a foul coming on Virginia. The Kite is first. Well, is going to the basket and uh, really no help on the on the drive by Jerome. He just kind of stepped out of the way. That's the, that's a that's a tough catch, dribble, and finish for a big to be going away from the ball, catch that, and do what he did. If that's his Euro step, <laughs> those are very large countries that he stepped on. I'm saying it wasn't Latvia. <laughs> We know it's not Croatia. 27-19. <laughs> Officials have come to the table. 38.7 is the time remaining. Now free throws. I think the, the question was whether it was, uh, on, you know, who was shooting on that. Read the beneficiary. He said seven 20-point games this season. And when he has done that, Clemson has gone six and one. We talked about missing the three with the uh, the screen. They thought it was a lot worse mm -hmm. than it was. So uh, very fortunate that. The Tigers only lost him for the three. Eight points for Reed. Six-point ball game. And now the Tigers try to dig down and get a stop here and end the half. Yeah, and they'll get another eight seconds back on the shot clock coming the other way. So an opportunity to score there. Clark unchallenged. Now Virginia gets into its set. Kyle Guy with five. Guy driving in. And a hand check, I believe, coming on Claude Trapp. Yeah, and I think that, uh, you know, Guy recognized who was guarding him, and he felt like instead of taking the three, that he could take Trapp off the dribble. And eliminates the shot clock. And you can hear Tony Bennett yelling to his team, take one shot. And now the Cavs well, are going to take a timeout. They had to take a timeout. I, like, I don't like that play where you got one guy off. First of all, I, I don't think you should be able to throw it into the backcourt once the ball's been advanced over the, you know, over the half-court line. Right. Our road to the tournament is brought to you by the Honda dealers of the Carolinas. Here's Virginia's upcoming schedule. We talked about what the Cavs have ahead on Tuesday night, the Virginia Tech game on the Raycom Network, and then the first of two intergalactic matchups with Duke. And they went into Cameron last year and won, and, uh, you know, Clemson's schedule finally, you know, you could say it eases up, but you got two top 15 teams in there. You've got some home games that are winnable. But, um, I mean, Bob, you look at any team schedule over the course of the year, and you can just look at a, a one-month block and shake your head. Right. And that's why I just about virtually every coach focuses on one week. Clemson forced to play two road games to start its conference season at two very difficult places. Now they come home and get Virginia. 
Five seconds. Four. Deflected by Reed. We're down to three seconds. Good hands by Marquise Reed. And Jerome has been very quiet in this game. Has not scored. Only three shots taken. This guy averages 13 and a half, and uh, that's a big part of their offense. Jerome triggers. Guy takes it. Off to the right. That's the half. So a Clemson team that had two points with about 11 minutes to go in the half has rebounded in a low-scoring half for each squad. And we hit the break. Virginia leading by six. Our halftime score at Little John. Virginia 27, Clemson 21. ACC Basketball is being brought to you by your local Toyota dealers. Toyota, let's go places. By Hardee's. By Progressive Insurance. And by First Citizens Bank. ACC Basketball is being brought to you by Geico, saving people money for over 75 years. By Gatorade, win from within. By your Carolina Ford dealers. By Bojangles, it's bow time. And by CPI Security, official security partner of the ACC. Scenes from Monday night. Etched in all Tiger fans, memory forever. 27-21 Virginia as we start the second half. Know your score brought to you by Lending Tree. Let's go around the ACC. And the one everybody's talking about, Mike, is that game in North Carolina. Louisville, 43-34 over the heels at halftime. Yeah, and, uh, you know, that's going back at the uh, at the Smith Center and Notre Dame and in Boston College. Five teams in the league have yet to win, Clemson being one of them. Those two or two were the others. And uh, how about Pitt, or how about NC State at number 15 this year? Kevin Keats has done it. And then Jeff Capel, a uh, nice job in his first year at Pitt. Pitt coming off an incredible win midweek in overtime against Louisville and carrying that momentum to the triangle today in their battle in Raleigh. All right, Mr. Jeminski, what do you see for us here in the second half? Well, Virginia's got to find their second and third scores. They've got to get Ty Jerome and, uh, and DeAndre Hunter involved, see if they can get them off early and involved. And, um, you know, Clemson, I like that. Uh, I like the attack mode. Um, maybe early on, you know, try to give uh, Elijah Thomas some touches. And a block shot right away by Sims. Good start for the Tigers. Let's see if they can convert at the offensive end. Thomas with a quick spin move goes in. Oh, look at the big fella. You know, he said, you know, the heck with getting double teamed in the post. I'm tired of that. I'm going to go out and show off my ball handling skills. Boy, that was some move. And Clemson cuts it to four. Jerome. Boy, Reed has done an incredible job on, <laughs> on Jerome. He's been no all over him. Here's Hunter. Back to tie. Four seconds, three. Jerome has to throw up a tough shot. And the rebound to Virginia. Jerome hits it and breaks the ice into the scoring column. Yeah, great initial defense by Clemson. Have to come up with that defensive rebound. And Jerome... And he was a little reluctant. I think he was going to thinking about going to run through the offense again, but he was so open that he said, I need to make a shot here. Feel good about myself. Nice touch pass. Sims over the rim rebound to Saul. I guess, uh, in, you know, Virginia is not an overwhelming rebounding team, but only one offensive rebound for Clemson wow. in this game. Ty Jerome gets it back. Dara gathers the board. Mitchell. Reed from the wing. Nice stick back. Elijah Thomas. Good energy. 
Yeah, they on the post. Had, had nice position too on the inside. I just mentioned that stat, and then, uh, you know, just the ball bounced right to him. He's really been the only guy who's gone to the offensive glass for the Tigers. Kyle Guy, just a little bit of daylight's all he needs. Rebound Mitchell. Crowd getting into it now. They have a lot to cheer about in the first 10 minutes. From the corner, an air ball, but it's deflected to Mitchell. Reed switched out against the big. He'll drive it, score it, and a foul. And that's what happens in offensive rebounds, Bob. You get scattered defensively, especially even a team like Virginia, and he recognizes he's got the big on him. Just takes the uh, Diakite right to the rim. Great rec recognition by Reed. His 10 point free throw to come. And I think in a play, even a play like that, you know, he, he might have crossed the threshold with, all right, my, my knee's okay. You know, I took a good, good look there, hit the floor, and still came up with the basket. Reed with a rare miss at the line. Braxton Key has come in for Diakite, a two point Virginia lead. Cavaliers won on a cakewalk at BC Wednesday, 83-56. A different story today in Clemson. Here's Hunter trying to get going. Off the rim. Yeah. Rebound to Thomas. You look, the offense has really been geared toward Hunter and Jerome here early, trying to get them touches and shots. And going to get it. The big fella Thomas. Here's Mitchell with an air ball. As Clemson looking for that big three to send the roof off this place. Uh, only the second shot of the game for Mitchell. Both of them threes. Twenty nine twenty seven Virginia. Kyle Guy feeding it back. Here's Hunter firing and hitting a three. His first field goal of the day. DeAndre Hunter. Has scored in double figures 11 times for the Cavs. 32 27. Thomas throws this one to the wing. Mitchell has it now. Cut off on the drive. Inside, the Cavs knock it away. And only two seconds on the shot clock. So then again, you know, here. <laughs> He goes, Thomas goes inside, and they immediately come with the big, big double team that forces it out of his hands. Reed pumps it up over Salt. This is sort of the way the game began for Clemson from the outside. Jerome runs it up and off. Sims clears. He's a Virginian from Palmyra. 32-27. Scoop to the hook. Drops out, but free throws coming for Reed. The foul is on Jack Salt. That will be his third of the game. And we have a timeout, 32-27 UVA. Time. It's vote time, so that means we're checking the Bojangles fan of the game. How about these fans? Clemson faithful, pick out your favorite. Here are your national champs. Uh, see, I think in Clemson they should change their slogan to it's Dabo time. <laughs> <laughs> I think they have. Free throws coming. I talked to Brad Brownell, Mike, before the game, and he said his stated goal to pull the upset today was to hit 10 threes. And so far, they're one of 12 from distance. Here's a message from CPI Security. All in one app from CPI Security, the official security partner of ACC basketball. Well, and, you know, that, that number, and uh, you're looking at a team in Virginia, we talk about their defense, one of the best in the country at defending the three-point shot. Opponents 25%, and uh, so far in this game, that number is going to come down. And only 31% for Clemson in their two road losses last week from outside the arc. 32-28. Virginia's Kyle Guy pulls the trigger after a 360 spin. And it's out to the Tigers. Guy has yet to score in this second half. They've locked in on him. 
And that was a tough jump shot. Yes. Brad Brownell, his ball club has recovered from the dreadful offensive start. Sims. Thomas. Remember, too, that then it'll be interesting to see how Clemson reacts because BC got it to six in the second half mm -hmm. and then just wilted. And right. Virginia's play usually catches up with you in the last 10 minutes of the game. He's just having to work as hard as you do offensively and defensively. Jay Huff. And right. that one drops home. Uh, unlikely, although 57% didn't take a ton of threes. Uh, but, uh, four or seven. Yeah, but that one. Caught the flange and landed softly. Thomas couldn't finish with a left hand. This thing you usually try to do is a big, and he's been doing most of his work off the dribble. But you get a guy who comes in fresh off the bench, you want to go right at him. Lob and a foul on Scarra. How about Huff coming in here and making an impact early? Three plays, you get the three first, and then the nice lob here goes up. Scar tries to come over. Possession before that uh, knocks down the three. Friendly bounce there, and then made a nice defensive play in between. Seven foot one from Durham. It's home the free throw, that's his fourth point. He's played in 11 games so far this season. Comes from a basketball family. Dad played hoops at Pacific Lutheran. Mom Kathy played at West Virginia. Second shot, no. Rebound to Thomas. 36-28, UVA. And uh, Tony Bitt in that first half played a very short bench. Huff is the only the eighth player to come in for him. Reed. Braxton keyboards. The perimeter to Jerome for three. Well, I tell you, the, the whole Virginia bench stood up because they know how important it is for him to get going. Brad Barnell does not want to let this game get out of shape. Calls a timeout. Ty Jerome takes the Virginia lead to 11. Good ball movement and a great look. 39 28 Cavs. Coming up on Tuesday, we have either NC State or Wake Forest or Virginia Tech at Virginia for you. Their time is 8 o'clock Eastern. Check your local listings. Raycom Sports presenting Atlantic Coast Conference Basketball. Bob Rath and Mike Jaminski and our crew with you from Little John and a crucial juncture for the Tigers. And how about that uh, game, Virginia, Virginia Tech on Tuesday? About six teams in the top 15 AP poll amazing year so far for the ACC. Cavs come up with it. Lob and lay in by Jay Huff. I think Mr. Huff may be earning a little more PT. Yeah, like the secret weapon here yeah. in the second half. 41-28. Scored six points in three minutes of action. There's Elijah Thomas yep. doing work on the left side. And he can do he can go either hand with that little hook and uh, Huff a little a little slender. He just backed him right underneath the basket. An 11 point lead for UVA. 12 and a half to go. I can't believe my eyes, Bob. This is a, this is a game of two centers battling one another. What happened to the three point shot? I know it warms the cockles <laughs> of your heart. <laughs> Here's that look and uh, beautiful pass. They just throw it up to the rim. Clemson nailed to the floor. Yes, we harken back to those halcyon days <laughs> when big men actually scored. Hunter. Yeah, that's, those are the two guys they needed to come alive, and uh, they're getting good looks now, too. Jerome and Hunter had two points combined in the first half on free throws. Scara going all the way through. 
David with six for a second half basket, 44 to 32. Well, the way that Virginia is shooting the three, I mean, they're really going to try to drive Clemson off of the two-point line. And they, you know, Scar had made a nice move to the basket, but they'll take a two instead of a three. Jerome. Good again. Man. Consider the switch flipped. Yeah, and you know that's what that's what big time scores do. And you have the you have that amnesia that you can shed a poor half and come out and uh, you know there are some guys who miss their first two shots and are dead for the game. But the the, the big time scores can play through that. Thomas rebound. Jay Huff. And see, this is this is where the wear down is coming. Mm -hmm. you know, all of a sudden, it's a 15-point ball game. Key gets his own miss and gets it off to the body of Thomas out of bounds. A timeout with 11:04 to play in the second half. Ty Jerome has come to life for the second half in Clemson. Classic game had 22 for the Tigers, and Virginia won it 77 to 73. They're back today and seizing control with Hunter. And, and you know, it's been Hunter and Jerome. But who would have thought that we would have said that Jay Huff entrance into the game was really what <laughs> triggered this lead? Scar with the left hand off the glass, and Jay Huff making a late bid for game MVP comes up with the rebound. This, but Clemson isn't getting drives that are getting to the free throw line, and that's what they need to do is to somehow try and stop the clock. Huff going up, just off the rim. New shooter pair. Scar is second foul. Uh, he did have, I mean, he's had this, he's capable. He had a 14-point, a eight-rebound game against Marshall earlier this year. Granted, it was, it's not ACC play, but there are skills. Coming out of Durham and Voyager Academy, I mentioned his dad, Mike, who was his high school coach. He put together a triple-double in the state title game. 1A, 14-14, and 10 blocks. It's the free throw, and it is now an 18-point spread. Mitchell. And the air has gone out of the balloon here at Little John. Yeah, it uh, really has, and uh, that's what you want to just uh, what you want to do on when you're on the road, and that's why Virginia is such a good road team. The one, the defense, the travels. Hunter, in and out, stays out. Reed, jump stops and floats it home. Right, and this, this run has to start now, Bob, because you know, we talk about some leads being larger than they really are, and a 16-point deficit for this defense is really, you know, it seems seem like more with another team. Kyle Guy turns it over. Got ambushed at the foul line. Trap. And stolen inside, but Reed missed it. Uh, Reed upset with himself, too. I mean, that was an easy layup inside. Reed, a 3 of 14 shooting dead. Took a victory lap before dropping, and Hunter now has a dozen. 52-34. Just a, a different player, too. He's been in attack mode. Foul on Jay Huff. And there's again coming off the screen and uh, showing the ability to, you know, actually started left and then fused the rim and finished right. And back in but no real shot blocker out there for, uh, for Clemson. And uh, Huff getting a uh, well-deserved standing O from his bench. Eight minutes and 40 seconds to play. And a foul coming on 
Kihei Clark, his second. Marquise Reed doing all he can to try to get his club back in. Reed's made his living, Mike, at the foul line today. He has been there nine times. This is his tenth free throw attempt. He's hit seven, now eight for 14 points. You get a, you know, you get a grad student and Reed against a freshman like Clark. You want to try to take advantage of that, especially the guy the injuries, and he's missed two free throws already in this game. Right. Eighty-five percent free throw shooter. Salt handing it over. Hunter with nice drive to the basket a moment ago. Comes to get it on the handoff from Saul. Shot clock at five. Hunter protects, flips, denied. Elijah Thomas there with a the takeaway for Clemson. And for in protection, but we can expect that for the rest of the game that uh, Virginia is going to go deep into the shot clock with every possession. And Mitchell just, see, just continues to struggle now. One of five on the game. Two thirty-five. It remains. Seven forty-five to play. Jerome finds the open man. Hunter at the top, short on the three. Rebound. Virginia back up and one for Braxton Key. Well, here's the thing. Again, you try to claw your way back into the game. You defend the shot very well. But then all of a sudden you get outworked and get scored on in the offensive rebound. Back after this word from your local ACC station. For summaries of other ACC games, go to the ACC.com. Kyle Guy was the guy who kept them in the game or gave them the lead in the first half. Has yet to score and his other two mates have stepped up in uh, Ty Jerome and DeAndre Hunter. And then about well, Jay Huff off the bench in that second half and Mark Reese Reed really having to work hard for those 14 points. Uh, three of 14 shooting, uh, most of it at the free throw line, although he's missed three times. And you mentioned, Mike, how well Tony Bennett's club defends that three. Second nationally field goal percentage defense outside the arc. Today, Virginia has limited Clemson to one of 15 three-point shooting. You know, which is remarkable in that they defend the drive so well and clog things up and yet have the ability to go out and still challenge shooters. New man of the game, John Newman. And he connects. First bucket. Well, maybe Clemson needs a unheralded star late in this game, just like if Virginia had up. Maybe John Newman can come in and do that. Guy with pocket pass. Find Salt, tip in, no, rebound to Thomas. And this one out of bounds, um, back to Virginia. One of those ones, I mean, you Brad Brownell is up clapping right now, but, you know, that rebound, it, it gets away from you. You make Virginia miss, and then it just slips out of your hands, hit the stanchion, and fall out underneath. Kyle Guy in the corner. Salt. Jerome open at the weak side. And it was just begging for the ball, too, but they couldn't see him. Clark in the paint. So third possession, this trip down the floor for Virginia. It's like giving them a minute and maybe more to run off the clock. Which you don't have. Yep. Guy doubled. Is fouled. This one on clock trap, his second. Yeah, I mean, the Tigers may have to start being more aggressive and putting uh, Virginia at the free throw line, but you don't gain much advantage there either, as well as they shoot it. I mean, they've only been there seven times in this game so far. Sims. Clemson still has three fouls to get in the put Virginia in the bonus.
Shot clock at three. Down guy, no, so yes, on the tip in. Well, I mean, you give a team like this four, oppor four possessions, actually, to get a basket, they're going to convert. Mitchell. And then got away with, uh, as you phrased it earlier, the Euro step. <laughs> yes. 58-35. Tony Bank showing a lot of uh, confidence in his freshman point guard having him in here at the end of the game situation. Shot clock at four. Ty Jerome and a hand check on Elijah Thomas, the big fella. Trying to shuffle those puppies and stay with Jerome. Yeah, that's again a good recognition. I'm getting a big switched out on you out front. You know, as a guard, you know, your eyes get wide and you know you can take this guy off the bounce. Five twenty to play. Virginia on its way to a 15th win without defeat and a 3 0 mark in the conference. Stretching that road winning streak. And another 30-second bite out of the clock here for the visitors. They've had a couple of football drives. <laughs> First round. Right. It's it time of possession is yeah. crucial. And Hunter blocked down the drive. That's the third on Thomas. Well, except for Salt, everybody on the floor can put it on the deck for Virginia out there. And Whoever Thomas gets put on out on the outside, they just get in full attack mode. Coming in for the first time today, seven foot freshman Trey Jemison for Clemson. Deflection and a steal by Trapp. And fumbled out of bounds. Tough pass to handle. Uh, I'm, you know, I'm never a big fan of one handed passes, and uh, just make sure of it on the break. Luke to 637. How about that score? Louisville by 19 in Chapel Hill. Hey, you look at some stats early on that game that it's North Carolina not shooting the three at all. Salt is fouled. Well, he's had, I mean, he's had this look basically the whole day. I mean, uh, you know, a good take that time and uh, pretty good production, I would say, out of that uh, five spot for Tony Bennett. You get 13 points and 12 rebounds from, um, from Salt and Huff. Second free throw coming. Seven and seven for Salt. 20 point lead for the Cavs. I, I was a teammate of Tony's in, uh, at, up in Charlotte in the, for three years in the league. And uh, I told him, I said, boy, you'd really be suited to the, today's game. He's still the all time leader in career three point percentage in college at 52%. Speaking of threes, one of 16. 20-point lead, under four minutes to play. This will be Virginia's 12th consecutive ACC road win. Salts. And on his back for the foul was Newman. And a timeout stops action at 3.45 to play. ACC Basketball is being brought to you by GEICO, saving people money for over 75 years. By Food Lion, official supermarket of the ACC. By your local Chevy dealers. And by LendingTree, official loan shopping partner of the ACC. Welcome back to Little John Coliseum. The fourth-ranked Virginia Cavaliers having their way with the Tigers now in the second half. This was a six-point game at halftime. 
And Jack Salt getting ready to head to the free throw line for the Cavaliers. Around the league, a couple of surprises. Pitt now is going ahead of NC State, 58-55 in Raleigh. And over in Chapel Hill, they're still scratching their heads at 69-52 Louisville. Yeah, that's the one that surprised me is that, that team is so explosive offensively, especially at home. Newman with the turnaround. Tip, tipped it by Scarra. Salt clears. And here comes Virginia. No hurry to get to the basket. And uh, just methodically taking care of business on the road. On the drive by Clark. You know, we, we talk about how, you know, how efficient they are, Bob, and uh, the, they had six, six turnovers in the first half, which was really high for them, but only two in this second half ran their, uh, ran their offense much more efficiently. Freshman forward Hunter Tyson putting Clark out the line. And Tony was talking about his recruitment. He actually went to was going to see another guy play, and there was again a game. And, um, Mr. Clark caught his eye. Thought he was the uh, exact fit for this program. What is the point guard is uh, such an important position to Tony. Uh, you know, you know, he, he was a shooter, but also a point guard as well. And uh, you know, he had he had one a great one. We had a clip of him in London, Parantes for four years that he really relied on. David Scar connects his first three-pointer, just the second for the Tigers in this one. 59-40. Huff. And a rejection by Jay Huff. Well, some guys are seven one in the media guy, but he's a legitimate seven one. <laughs> and those long arms now gets above the square to throw him down. Whoa! That was impressive. Sixty one to forty. Tyson. Hey. Well, Check the, the elevation. Yeah, you, you get the clear out in the movement, and actually it was a, it was a nice job by Kyle Guy, who was going to come off the screen, but he held up. He saw that up had his guy beaten, and he just uh, let him let the big fella eat. Red shirt sophomore. Very impressive 10 points in this one. Dude on the road, too, in the ACC. And most guys like that feel much more comfortable at home. A minute 25 left. Scar can't score. It is never easy, no matter who's in the game. No, I mean, they're, all, they're all trained the same way, so it's a lot of interchangeable parts. Out of bounds to Virginia. 64 seconds left. Our performance of the game is brought to you by your local Chevy dealers. Well, that's, you know, you look at this team. They've got only two guys in the top 25 in scoring. None in the top 10. One from the top 25 rebounding. But every team defensive stack, and then here's up again. Almost every team defensive stack, they're first or second in the league. Mm -hmm. So I think that that uh, player at the end, that, that's, this, is, this Virginia team is all about team. And that number we showed you was the three-point percentage defense today for Clemson. Two of 18. Wow. On your home floor. Half 
half a minute to go. Three pointer off the mark. Shot clock is off, and the Clemson Tigers will go back to the drawing board. 0 and 3 conference start with Georgia Tech coming in here next Wednesday. Nice one by John Newman. Six seconds, and Virginia's going to dribble out the final seconds here. Brad Brownell coming down to shake the hand of Tony Bennett. A mighty defensive performance by Virginia in the second half, particularly, although the game started when Clemson could score only two points in the first ten minutes, but Clemson worked their way back into the game, Mike. Second half, stranglehold by the Cavs. Well, I, I talked about it, the slow death, you know, they just wear you down and wear you down, and it doesn't manifest itself until the last 15 or 10 minutes of the game, and boy, did it show up then, and, uh, you know, having Ty Jerome, DeAndre Hunter show up in the second half and get their stuff, and then... Out of nowhere, Jay Huff coming in in seven minutes, seven points and five rebounds for him. And Tony Bennett's club is now 15-0. The cumulative effect of that UVA defense took its toll in Tiger Town. Back with more after this. It got to within six at halftime, and you thought, all right, this is you know, reasonable. We've got a chance. And um, and then the first part of the second half, Virginia got two other scorers going, and um, you know I don't think Kyle Guy scored in the second half. He did not. And um, and then you get Jay Hoff off the bench, gives you 11 points and seven rebounds in a very short period of time, and that's where they they spread it out and they call it uh, you know it's kind of like slow death. You know it's the same thing that happened up in Boston College. We talked about it. They were. And BC was within six, and then all of a sudden you look up, and it's a twenty-point game. And you can just see—you can just see the sense of, you, see the, you, can, you can see the will go out of the other team. Right. You know, at that point, and uh, you know, you look at the stats and talked about Mark Ke Marquise Roy Reed and playing for the first time without his knee brace, fourteen points, but had to you know take a ton of shots, three of fourteen from the floor for him. Um, Kyle Guy again holding it in and. Uh, um, but that's why, you know, with this team, it's, you know, it's just different guys stepping up. The defense for Virginia. And we just want to show you a, a few examples here. You don't get open looks. They create turnovers. They just make your life miserable. And it's not like they get turnovers that immediately turn into points down the other end. They, they deny the sh they contest shots. You don't get a ton of uh, you don't get a ton of offensive rebounds ag against them, or second chance points. And you know we, we talked about the end of the game that last ten minutes. How many times did Virginia have two, three shots at the basket? And what they do is they take it out and they don't put it right back up. They'll use another 20, 25 seconds of clock. So you're losing a minute of time there. And uh, you know when you're in a 15 point deficit. It's, it's tough to overcome. And you look at it from the Clemson perspective, their first three games, two are on the road. You get to play Duke at Duke and face all that pressure. Then you have to go to Syracuse and deal with the famous 2-3 zone. Now you come home for your home opener, and Virginia's waiting yeah, for you. And, 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 but I thought you know, Brad Brownell probably thought he'd get more offense out of his team mm -hmm. than this. You know, even, you know, it's a, and they played against different types of defenses in those three games. But six, six to three points, not you know, too bad to give up to Virginia. You know, I mean, you know if you hit you know more of your three point shots, obviously you're in this game. But uh, they they got they have a lot to work on. It was not a good day to pad your assist total if you're a Clemson Tiger. They had only five. They ended up shooting 26 percent. Virginia wins at 63 to 43. The Cavs are now 15 and 0. Clemson drops to 10 and 6 and 0 and 3 in the ACC. For highlights and must-see moments from this game and others, check out the ACC.com. Our next telecast on most of these Raycom Sports stations Tuesday at 8. NC State at Wake, Virginia Tech at Virginia. You've been watching coverage of Atlantic Coast Conference basketball on the ACC Network, an exclusive production of Raycom Sports.